Hello, everybody. It's that time of month again where we have got the stats for the last month. So the March 2024 stats are in for real estate sales and volume in Edmonton. So I'm Josh with Axiom Mortgage Solutions, and we've got Jay here with Remax Excellence. Again, Jay, it's always fantastic to see you. Thanks for having me, Josh. Hey, you're very welcome. So I guess we're just going to jump right into the stats and see what they're telling us as we come into the spring market. It's definitely kicked in. Um, but what uh, what are you thinking here as we come into the spring market here in Edmonton? Yeah, absolutely. It's kicked in. We're starting to see multiple offers happening. Um, we're running out of inventory. And so it's every indication that we've hit spring and that, and that the market is starting to heat up, we're, we're absolutely seeing that for sure. Sorry, we normally see the inventory increase a little bit early in the year um, as the spring comes in, but that inventory might not be increasing enough to offset the increase in sales, eh? Correct. Yeah, so that's exactly what we're seeing. We're, we're seeing, um, like, uh, like I was just saying, we we're talking to one of my colleagues today. He tried to show 12 houses and could only get into two. The other 10 were pending. So even though our inventory, maybe as, as oh, this wow. slide shows, you know, we're up from 4,800 listings to 5,320 in March. And you're like, ooh, that's a big bump, right? Like there's a whole bunch of new houses to look at and maybe there's a little bit less pressure as a buyer, but that isn't so. Because one thing that um, we can't really measure, I guess, is like how many active buyers do we have, right? This does show you though, we're up 25 and, and just over half percent from February for sales. So yeah, we've added more listings, but look what's happened to our sales. Yeah, I see about a 25% increase in the sales, but the listings increased maybe a little over 10%. So what that's saying is for every sale that's happening, there just there are fewer and fewer homes to choose from. And I guess that's typical in the spring market, isn't it? Correct, yeah. So another like good sort of tool that you can use is look at a ratio from sales to the new listings. And so that'll help you understand the pressure you're going to have as a buyer or how much activity you're going to get as a seller. So we're at 68% sale to new listings, meaning if you get 100 new listings, 68 of them are going to sell. So that means there's a whole bunch coming off and they're coming off quickly. Um, that number, 2022 was greater. Um, we still haven't got to there, but I suspect maybe this month we might probably get through 2022 numbers in April. We'll see what happens, but we're definitely seeing um, these things get absorbed really quickly. And we're, we, we are running on the listings for sure. So um, it's, I, I feel from my side here, it's kind of interesting to see that, of course, it, it picked up when the interest rates were super low in that post COVID bubble. It definitely slowed down at the end of 2023 and in 2020, sorry, the end of 2022 and 2023 when the interest rates were really high, but now with rates sort of having peaked settled people have gotten used to it and edmonton still is pretty affordable across the country or compared to other places we're already seeing those uh those sales really pick up almost to the same levels as the peak of that COVID bubble which is cool yeah yeah and there's some optimism that we have you know talking about interest rates but that'll be for another day <laughs> so so with all this activity the big question what's happening to the prices so here you're going to see we got a 1.8% increase month over month, 9.5% year over year. We're at a $405,000 all residential um, price. So that's still really highly affordable considered, um, you know, if we look at Calgary, some of our other markets around us, they're certainly a lot higher than that. So it's very attractive. Um, we are still seeing some price increases. Um, detached homes is typically what everybody wants, you know, double car garage, right? and you don't want to share a wall with anyone, you can expect to pay around $475,000. This is greater Edmonton area. 2.2% month over month gain, 6.7% year over year. So actually some really encouraging numbers there as well. Uh, Semi-detached, that's the next exciting number. Um, $400,000, 3.4% month over month, 9.6% year over year. There is still some affordable homes here in Alberta is what these numbers are telling us. And there's a lot of a lot of good things that we can pick from still in this market as far as price point. You know, we've been looking at the semi-detached compared to the detached homes, right, Jay, over the last little bit. And they're about 100000 or they've been about $100,000 less than the detached homes. But it looks like 
that's tightening up a little bit. Um, the jump and the increase on the semi-detached is more than that of the detached. Obviously, there's fewer sales because there just aren't as many of them, but it looks like that price yeah. is starting to catch up. Yeah, so I mean, sellers of semi-detached know that they can get a bit more money because um, buyers, you know, they don't have a choice. Some of them, the, the detached homes, they can't afford. So they're now putting a lot of pressure on the semi-detached. It's pushing it up. I think I think it gained um, twice as much almost, 2.2%. Um, no, not quite. Just over 1.2% more um, month over month. So yeah, the detached definitely have a lot of activity and a lot of pressure on them. And they're very affordable. And that's why, for sure. So um, yeah, it looks next like one, it's about fifty percent faster. Yes, yeah. Um, Row townhouse. This has been the darling so far this year, right? Twenty four percent. It's up year over year, which is incredible. Um, One point seven percent month over month. Two hundred ninety thousand dollar is the price. Um, again, it's just really highly affordable. People love them, and um, you know, so if you bought a year ago, you'd be loving the decision you made to buy a, a row or a townhouse, right? Absolutely. And you know, it's like, yeah, they're, they're catching up. They've been increasing a little bit faster also. And, and I think we're going to continue to see that as the overall price in the Edmonton area goes up. We're definitely seeing it in Calgary further south here in Alberta, where the shift of what's being bought is shifting into that smaller, more traditionally starter home things as opposed to the detached homes. Um, you know, we're nothing like Ontario or, or the lower mainland near Vancouver, where everybody has to start with an apartment or a townhouse, but we're definitely seeing some shift in that direction. Yeah. Yeah. And there is people now realizing that there's a good chance when, you know, they go to buy that they're not going to be able to get a townhouse anymore. I guess time will tell us, right? So that leads us into this, you know, this apartment condo. What, what does it cost? So 186000 is the average or median price. 10.5% gain month over month, 9.2% year over year. So there's some optimism back here in our condo market, right? So affordable, they're, they're easy to own, still some good locations that you can buy in, um, good for commuting. So there's lots of, of good reasons why you're going to want to buy an apartment or a condo here in Edmonton, right? So um, overall, it's been a, a really good month of March. If you're a seller, it's been a bit challenging. If you're a buyer, April looks to be about the same. Um, but time will tell, of course, right? Yeah. But you know what? This It tends to be a little bit busier in the springtime. Uh, we're starting on the interest rate side to see some downward movement. And that always brings more people into the market or people want to get into homes and settle before the next school year begins. There's all sorts of reasons that the springtime tends to be a little bit busier than, than the fall. But we've definitely recovered from any downward movement in apartment sales. Um, and everything else seems to be just trending up the same way it has been over the last number of years with a lot more activity going on here in 2024 than we saw in 2023. So super exciting. And uh, Edmonton appears to be the place to be as far as uh, the ability to get into a home, especially especially good for first-time home buyers. And of course, so much work and all sorts of economic opportunity. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, click on like, click on, hit on that bell so you can get more notifications. We're in the middle of doing a series all about the surrounding communities of Edmonton as well. So next one of those will update in two weeks. Next week, we're going to talk about the Bank of Canada's announcement that is next Wednesday. But we're keeping you up to date and helping you figure out how you can get yourselves into the Edmonton and Edmonton area housing market. Anything else to add there before we wrap this up, Jay? Uh, no, not too much. Um, we're looking for a little bit of a sneak idea of what's coming next Wednesday, but I guess you probably don't have our guy on speed dial to figure out what he's going to do. Hey, well, Mark Carney, the governor of the bank of Canada doesn't take my phone calls. In fact, uh, I actually walked up to the front of the bank of Canada, not that long ago to see if anybody would talk to me, <laughs> but I'm just a mortgage broker. So I'm not that guy, but I did take some pictures. You'll see them next week. Um, but cool. the general consensus is that we're, things are going to be the same. There's going to be no increase or no decrease, but we are very much expecting to see a rate decrease in June. If not in June and July, I know it keeps getting pushed back a little bit further. The GDP numbers for economy are looking good, but the inflation numbers are starting to play ball. So likely here in the next couple of months, we are going to see the Bank of Canada start to lower its interest rate. Nice. So we'll look forward to that update, I guess, next Wednesday.
Sounds great. Absolutely. Looking forward to it, Jay. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.